Imagine going to pick up your child from daycare and finding out he or she is not there. It happened this week in Kokomo to the mother of a five-year-old girl, and now she is demanding answers and change. The Now's Ann Kelly is live in Howard County to explain, Ann, where did they finally find this girl? Well, Melissa, I'm live outside that daycare in question, Dream Makers Learning Ministry. Now, that little girl, Morgan is her name. She was found after she wandered back into the daycare crying. Uh, it, it turns out that she'd actually fallen asleep inside this van. She had been uh, transported in this van. She fell asleep, and no one noticed up until her mother arrived and was looking for her, which brings us back to that mom, Letitia, Letitia Sims, who has since reported the incident to Family and Social Services Administration, and they are now investigating. Sims says her daughter was alone outside in the daycare's van a good hour. The daycare says it was just 10 to 15 minutes. But regardless, this mom, as she talked to us exclusively just a bit ago, saying not knowing where every child is at all times is unacceptable. It's terrifying when you don't know where your child is and you leave them in someone's hands. That's just the worst feeling ever. Every time you transport a child, you check that bus. Every day you have a child in that van, it's your responsibility to go in afterwards and make sure that there's nothing left behind. We accept full responsibility. Um, we made a very, very terrible mistake. Um, you know, and, and I hate it. I mean, it, it happened. There's nothing that I can do, you know, to change it. Now, the woman who runs Dream Makers Learning Ministry here in uh, Kokomo, who has told us that they do have new policies, and one includes a new checkpoint. So when kids get off this bus, off this van, they are checked immediately. They are kept track of. Also, she says they are going to be adding a surveillance camera outside here just to add security to the daycare. Uh, a lot of changes, but Letitia Sims saying it's all a little too late. She has pulled her daughter from this daycare. Reporting live in Kokomo for the now Indy and Kelly, RTV6.